Hey, 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 welcome to the Vegas Hockey Girls podcast for Monday, November 27th, 2023, episode 23. I'm Colleen. I'm Mandy. And we're sisters who have loved the VGK since day F and (laughs) one. That's right. So our goal has always been to get you 100% up to date with all things VGK in 15 minutes or less. So last game, the Golden Knights three game road trip features stops in Calgary, Edmonton and Vancouver. Uh, the injuries today were Theodore, upper body, Martinez, lower body. They did not make the trip to, to go to these three away games. They stayed behind in Vegas. They're expected to miss all three games of this road trip. And Caden Korzak is called up, and he's playing with the VGK tonight. We just finished our game with the Calgary Flames today, and guess what? We lost. We lost. What the hell is going on with these guys? I don't know, dude. <clears throat> okay, so it was two to one. We lost in overtime. Um, we had an e bug situation, which is always exciting. E bug stands for emergency backup goalie. Um, Jacob Markstrom, the starting goalie for the Flames, was unavailable due to illness. Uh, Jacob was confirmed too sick to play after the 5 p.m. game. Uh, 5 p.m. game roster transaction deadline. So if he would have been sick earlier, they could have got somebody from the minor league team. But as a result, uh, Dustin Nickel had been assigned to an amateur tryout agreement, and he will be the backup goalie tonight. So this is really cool. E-bug. There's always somebody that has to be present at the game that has the ability to put on the pads and get out there and play um, as an emergency backup goalie. Um, it's too late to get the minor league netminder. So uh, anyway, we'll talk more about e-bugs in a little bit, but I love e-bugs. It's real exciting. So VGK was on the power play, six minutes left in the first period. Amadio to Hutton to William Carlson. Goal. Tenth goal for Carly on the season, and he leads the team in goals and points altogether. So Carly's doing really good. Yay, Carly. Yeah, he's doing really good. Um, End of one, Vegas one, Flames zero. End of two, Vegas one, Flames zero. Um, Clock says 17 minutes left in the third. A.J. Greer, right place at the right time and scores a goal upstairs against Aiden Hill. Greer's fourth on the season. The game is tied one to one. So it was one to one, end of the third, no score in the third period. So we went into overtime <laughs> with four seconds left. One of my friends on Twitter was like, We're going to go to a shootout. I'm like, Dude. And then we didn't go to a shootout. Somebody texted me saying, We lost. And I said, What are you talking about? We're in overtime right now. Oh, I'm sorry. They must have went on a penalty. And then I said, There, you jinxed it, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> We did a great penalty kill concerning two of our guys lost their sticks. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, anyway, it was, uh, let's see, no score in the third, going into overtime, four seconds left in overtime, and um, Hill is beat. Col- uh, goal, Calgary, they win in overtime, game-winning goal, Mackenzie Weger. So, we lost. We still get one point, though. Yeah, that's the bright side. And we needed that point. These points are, all the points are important. So we now have 31 points, and we are one point ahead of Colorado in the West. And we're still third in the league overall. You can see all three teams on top of the league have 31 points, but then you can see there's certain other percentages that say who's on top and who's not. So we're in third place in the league. And we will see you tomorrow, Vegas Golden Knights. So I hope Coach is pissed. Because it's, if I were me, he's, he's reaming them right man, now. Dude. I would close down practice and get down and dirty. So, I just wanted to make a point. VGK scoring leaders William Carlson this season 21 points. He has 10 goals and 11 assists. Jack Eichel 20 points with 8 goals, 12 assists. Mark Stone 18 points. Shea Theodore 18 points. And Jonathan Marchessault 14 points. So, imagine Marchessault with 14 points this season. And William Carlson has 21. So we got some big guys that need to step up in a big Come way. Come on, Marchie. Yeah, exactly. And look at Chandler Stevenson. Shoot the puck, Chandler. I know he's been out for a while, so he's you know takes him a few games to get back into the, uh, you know the, the what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Get it together. We're still stunned that they I lost know. again. We're I, like, what? My last podcast, the title was called. The, the champs get upset or whatever. Now it's like they're still ups. They get upset again, you know. <laughs> Bad day for the champs. Bad day for the champs again. So here's a player spotlight by Mandy. Today our player is Pavel 
Dorofiev, number 16 for the VGK. He was born October 26, 2000, which makes him 23 years old. He was born in Russia. He is married to Lara, and they have no kids. His first NHL team is the Vegas Golden Knights. His first NHL debut was in 2021-2022 to opening game against the Kraken. He His three-year entry-level contract was expiring, so he signed a one-year contract with BGK on July 19, 2023. He is a left winger. Woo! <laughs> the left and white, right wingers are at the center side. They support the center and score goals. Wingers are attackers in hockey, but also know how to defend the puck. The forwards playing on the left or right side of the ice and are referred to as the left winger and right winger. The wingers will remain on their respective side of the rink, whether they're playing offense or defense. The three top left wingers in the NHL are number one is Jason Robertson. Number oh, two. He's on Dallas. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he is good. Number two is Kirill Kaprizov. And Kaprizov, yeah. Kaprizov. Mm-hmm. Number three is Brad Marchand. Marchand, yeah. Um, Pavel's uh, emoji is a door for door of Fiev. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> On March 12th, <12, laughs> 2000, I, I wouldn't want to be a, a door. door. <laughs> March 12, 2023, he recorded his first NHL point as his first NHL goal with a assist to Carlson. First period goal later followed by a go-ahead deflection goal off of his helmet. Oh, I remember that. So his first goal was bounced off his helmet into the net. Nice. So I thought that was pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Pavel Dorfiev. Thank Yay. you. So, Lingo Spotlight. So, this, I had a whole thing written up until tonight we had an e-bug. <laughs> so, e-bug, emergency backup goalie. It's the dream of every sports fan. The star player on your favorite team goes down with an injury. The coach is desperate and someone needs to step up. Somehow, you, the average sports fan, gets picked out of the stands to hit with the bases loaded or to step in as a quarterback or to take the game-winning shot. Now, obviously, that never really happens in real life or in sports, really. Well, except for the extreme rare occasion in hockey, thanks to the E-Bug rule, which stands for Emergency Backup Goaltender. The rule that requires NHL teams to have a random person standing by in the arena ready to hit the ice should either team's two goalies both get injured. It's a one-day contract called the Amateur Tryout Agreement. If you're Prorate the minimum salary in the NHL for one day's work. It comes out to about $2,000, but e-bugs receive no payment at all. Dusty has been coaching and developing goalies for over 15 years in the Calgary area. He's never played professional hockey. He has worked with all ages and all levels of goalies from beginners to professionals and even Olympic level goaltenders. Dusty works with many of the minor league hockey teams around the Calgary area and has spent years leading goaltending development programs for the local associations. Today, Dusty was the e-bug for the Calgary Flames. <laughs> so he dresses up, right? That'd had, be cool. Yeah, it, uh, that's why I was pointing him out to you, to check him out. He was the emergency goalie for the Calgary Flames. That's the team that we just lost to. He had the opportunity to train and practice with some of the best players in the world t- and applying uh, the techniques he teaches at the highest level. Um, so he puts on the gear and he has to sit on the bench. And um, rarely do they ever play. But there's been times. As a matter of fact, I remember when the Blackhawks had their e-bug, Scott Forrester, who came in, stole the show. 36-year-old accountant made seven saves to secure a 6-2 lead over the Winnipeg Jets four years ago. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> also, the Zamboni driver in 2020, the Zamboni driver for the Toronto Marlies was the emergency backup goal. Uh, David Ayers made his NHL debut at 42 years of age. He stopped 8 out of 10 shots to give the Carolina Hurricanes a 6-3 win, all while stealing the show in Toronto. So the NHL has certain criteria that an emergency backup goaltender must meet. They need to be at least 18 years old, and they do sign a contract with the league for that one day. Additionally, they cannot have played in professional league higher than the ECHL and no pay, but you can keep your game jersey. 
Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, and these are some of the best moments in hockey. So, yay for the e-bugs. Hell yeah. We have them at practice, too. You'll hear the term, the e-bugs. They're just, because they can't have all these goalies on the thing. And they can't be calling the guys from Henderson at the last minute, you know, because somebody's not at practice or whatever. So, they have e-bugs. Anyway, upcoming events by Mandy. Our next game is tomorrow, November 28th, against the Oilers in Edmonton at 6 p.m. Back to back. Pacific Good. time. Also tomorrow is White Cloud's birthday. Yay, Whitey. <laughs> Whitey. He is 27 years old. November 29th is Hispanic Heritage Night at the Silver Knights at 7 p.m. Wednesday. So all fans in attendance will receive a Hispanic Heritage poster when they enter the Dollar Loan Seven. Yeah, go Seven. see the Silver Knights. Yeah, Viva Knights. Yeah. Meet and greets three-time WNBA champion Chelsea Gray. Every time I see her name, I want to say Chelsea Grin, that band. Right. <laughs> Next Thursday, November 30th at Auto Nation Toyota of Las Vegas, located at 6300 West Sahara Avenue. Limit two signed items per person, food provided while supplies last. Go get yourself a selfie with the LV Aces champ. Call them with any questions. The phone number is 702-605-5801. Sweet. December 1st, there's a lot of events. Meet and greet with William Carrier at Finley Nissan and Henderson from 4 to 6 p.m. Just bring a toy and you will get an autograph and a picture with him. Yay, so. Carrier. <laughs> December 2nd, you guys, UNLV will host Boise State in the 2023 Mountain West Football Championship on Saturday. Kickoff is at noon at Allegiant Stadium. Come on, Vegas. Let's support the guys as they try to win the West. It's been a long time coming, and there's no other sporting events on this day at this time. So what do you say? Yeah, <laughs> come on. Let's go support UNLV. See you there December 2nd. This is the biggest game in their history. So go to unlvtickets.com to get your tickets. Go Big Red. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. December 3rd, the Sip and Shop at the M Casino in the Milan Ballroom from 9 to 4 p.m. Come do some holiday shopping. There's over 90 vendors. Come support the small businesses. Also, if you mention our podcast... You will get 10% off of your purchase at Sister Rock's booth. Yay! Which is our booth. Yeah, come and see us. Yeah. <laughs> come and see Mandy. Also, December 3rd at the Cosmopolitan Ice Rink, come skate with Martinez, White Cloud, and Hill from 4 to 7 p.m. Admission is $30 to skate, but free to get in. Plus, there are special appearances by Chance. Chancey! <laughs> the Golden Knight. <laughs> The Vegas Vivas and the Night Guards. So that'd be cute. I always have fun with Chance. January 1st, VGK versus the Kraken for the Winter Classes at T-Mobile Park in Seattle, Washington. Wow, I hope you guys wrote that down. <laughs> That's All right, a lot so of events. Speaking of the Road to the Winter Classic, or to the Winter Classic, NHL announced that the Road to the Winter Classic series will return to TNT. It's a television show. It documents both teams on their journey into the weeks leading up to the festivities. This will be the 10th season of the show, and it will be the first time it's aired since 2019. Um, these shows give fans behind-the-scenes look at their favorite franchises and internal storylines that follow them throughout the year, while also getting a chance to get to know the personalities for, of the players they love. For a league that is continuously trying to grow its popularity, having content like this return to television um, on one of the biggest networks in Northern America will be a huge opportunity for viewerships to grow over the holidays. So there will be four 30-minute episodes in the series, and it starts airing December 13th, December 20th, and December 21st, um, right before the puck drop of the game, which is January 1st. So that should be good. Uh, one more thing. VGK signed forward Ben Hemmerling to a three-year entry-level contract. He's 19 years old. He's a right-handed from Sherwood uh, Park, Alberta, Canada. He was drafted by Vegas in the sixth round in 2022 NHL entry draft. Um, if you have any event or anything you'd like us to mention on the podcast, please let us know. Where can people find you? VGK Goalie Girl. 
Fiji K Gully girl. Find That's the because goalie. Because I love the goalies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So one, two, three, beat the Oilers. I hate oil. 